case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1975, George L. Riggs, Inc. challenged an income tax deficiency, ruling in a case that centered around the liquidation of a Ruggs Young Corp. The primary question in the case was whether the petitioner, George L. Riggs, Inc., owned enough stock of Riggs Young to qualify for a plan of liquidation under Section 332 of the Internal Revenue Code. In the scrutinized period between June 20, 1968, and December 31, 1968, George L. Riggs, Inc., C., a Connecticut corporation and holding company, received liquidating distributions totaling over $2 million. This portfolio included cash, insurance policies, and tax refund receivable. While the petitioner reported a gain of over $2 million on their tax return, they contested the recognition of this gain under tax law provisions. This led to a dispute over an alleged tax deficiency amounting to nearly $590,000. The critical issue centered on whether a plan to liquidate Riggs Young had been in place while George L. Riggs, Inc. held a substantial 97.2% of the company's stock most of which was owned by the George L. Riggs Trust. The tax court ruled in favor of the petitioner, George L. Riggs, Inc. The court found no evidence of a liquidation plan under Section 332 existing prior to May 9, 1968. The court maintained that the controlling date for the resolution's adoption was not subject to prior shareholder agreement. This landmark ruling set a precedent for corporations warily eyeing the application of Section 332 in the Internal Revenue Code. The court declared this section elective, meaning corporations could choose whether to apply non-recognition provisions by adhering to subsection-specific conditions. It was a ruling centered on the interpretation of tax laws, but it held significance beyond that. Its outcome provided corporations the flexibility to more effectively control their business decisions and tax planning strategies. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.